Hey, is this thing on? <laughs> to my YouTube channel. My name is Amber and I am so glad that you all tuned in for another weekly dose of self-improvement. This week we're going to be talking about the very popular topic of the 12-week year. Except of course I'm going to put my own spin on it so things are going to be done a little bit differently. This video focuses on how you can set up the 12-week year but in a simplified way to make it very easy and attainable for everyone. So I am actually going to set up true goals for myself and you guys are going to help me as my accountability partners. And by that time, I hope to have achieved all of the goals that we set up in this video today. Essentially, the way that the 12 week year works is that you are completely focused on your goals for a 12 week period and you don't let anything derail you from your ultimate goal and reaching that finish line. So that means that you do have to put forth extra effort in order to reach those goals. However, you have a plan where you're checking in on your progress throughout every single week until you reach that 12 week mark. The whole idea is derived from a book called The 12 Week Year. Now, of course, if you utilize the 12 week year, that does not mean that you can never set yearly goals for yourself. Yearly goals are still extremely important, but oftentimes people aren't able to reach those yearly goals because it seems so far away, especially if you're someone that likes to see results quickly or instant gratification. It's so much harder to make sure that you can reach those yearly goals because it just seems like you're never going to get to that point. Whereas with 12 weeks, it's about three months, which is not as long. So you can see your results quicker and in shorter intervals, and that can encourage you to continue to set new goals and you can reach or attain even more goals than you set out in the beginning of the year by breaking it up into smaller segments. And the great thing about the short term is you can truly set up your life and completely surround it around those goals for 12 weeks because it's not that long. And at that point, you're able to really design your life in a way that supports those goals and making them something that you're able to reach at the end of the 12 weeks. So in order to do this, first up, we have to start with big picture thinking. This is a technique that I like to use often with my life coaching clients because it really helps you have a clear destination of where you're going in your mind and it helps with motivation for you to get to that point. So the way that it works is you envision where you would like to be at the end of a certain period of time. It could be 12 weeks, six months, one year. You could even go more into long term, five years, 10 years, 25 years, but you always have that finish line in mind. And so if you know what your big picture is, where you wanna be at the end, then you're able to work backwards and employ backward design to where every single step that you take is leading you towards that ultimate goal. In the book, The 12 Week Year, they recommend brainstorming every single thing that you want to attain in life. And then at that point, you can write everything down so you have a tangible place where you have kept your goals at. These could be personal, they could be professional, or really a mixture of both. Everything that combines to make your life the way that you want it to be. And then from that point, you're able to break those goals down into time bound goals. So even if at the end of the 12 week period, you have reached your small goal, but it's not completely to where you want to be in that big picture, that is okay. And you are doing extremely well because working toward that smaller goal has actually led you even closer to your big ultimate goal that you want to get to in the end. Overall, it's just really great because you've taken a significant step in the right direction and you don't have to wonder like did i make any progress toward where i want to be in my big picture you're able to look back see what you did every week to reach those 12 week goals and then you can look at those 12 week goals and determine how it's going to contribute to your overall big goal for example one of my goals is to be able to retire early i need to be on catalina island driving my pink golf cart there are no other options. So if I know that I want to retire early, ideally in my 50s, then I have to make sure that everything that I'm doing right now in my 30s is setting me up to reach that goal within the next 20 to 25 years. 
So an example of a 12 week goal that would make sense for me would be compiling all of the retirement funds that I've gained from different jobs over the years into a Roth IRA and learning about how that works and how I can compile everything to make it grow for me and benefit me when it is time to retire. Now, I don't know anything at all about a Roth IRA at this point. So starting off with research is gonna be my first step. So researching the process and if I feel like it's a great option, I could work towards getting that set up and that's completely attainable to do within the next 12 weeks. Obviously saving the entire amount that I'm gonna need for retirement isn't attainable in 12 weeks, but I've taken a significant step in order to get to that point. So the way that the 12 week year is set up from the book, they have these lagging indicators, basically check-ins that you're gonna be doing every single week to make sure that you're staying on track toward your goal. So that's one of the areas that I'll be simplifying the process for instead of having to assign different values and then tracking all of those things. I'm gonna start with a simple plus and minus system. Every single week, have I worked towards this particular goal? Yes or no. If I have, I'll give myself a plus sign. If I haven't, then I'll put a minus sign. And then I'll be able to continually add, see how many plus signs I have, see how many minus signs I have, track which areas I may be slacking in or which areas I'm doing really well in, and see if I am in a place to be able to reach my 12 week goal by the end of that time period. Now, of course, there are some things that you're gonna have to change if you really wanna be successful with your 12 week goals. You have to be reasonable with yourself. And one of the things that many of us do not have a bunch of is time. So for myself, I know that I have a very busy schedule. So I'm going to have to cut back on some of the things that I do socially in order to make sure that I can reach these goals within the next 12 weeks, which are going to contribute to my ultimate goals overall. And so I've truly realized that in order for me to reach my personal goals, I have to be willing to say no to things, even if I feel like that may be disappointing for some people. Because if people truly care about you, they love you, they want to see you grow and progress, whether that's your family members or friends, then they are going to be supportive of any changes that you feel like you need to make to work toward a place where you feel like you're in a great space for personal growth and you're reaching a goal that's really important to you. So your friends that truly care about you will want you to take time to prioritize yourself, to pour back into yourself, and to focus on things that you want as well. Now for me, socializing just happened to be the example that made the most sense for my life, but I want you to think about something that makes sense for your life. What is something that you often do that can be distracting or deterring you from reaching your goals? It could be things like scrolling on social media, watching a lot of TV, even if you like to take several naps throughout the day. There's nothing wrong with any of those things. However, if those things are keeping you from working toward your goal, then they're not going to be something that you're going to be able to hold on to during this 12 week year. So anything that's typically a distraction for you has to go, set it aside, and you never know, you could actually build a habit that's even better, that keeps you on track to work toward more goals and continue building towards your future. Now for the tricky part, determining which goals make sense for you to set out to attain for this 12 week year. So in order to help you decipher, I have created a simple three-step process that you're able to utilize to figure out what goals you want to implement for your 12 week year. So first off, you have to ask yourself, can this goal be reasonably attained within 12 weeks? Don't choose something that's completely outrageous that you're not gonna be able to reach during that time period. You want to make sure that you get to that finish line, that you attain your goal and you keep moving forward from there. So you wanna start off with things that are gonna be simple for you, but that are also going to push you in the right direction. Second, ask yourself, am I truly motivated to complete this goal? Don't pick something that you don't really care about because you need to have that intrinsic motivation in order to continually remind yourself of why you're working towards achieving this goal, why you've given some things up, and why you really want to get to that final place. Then from there, you're gonna to wanna to design logical steps that are gonna help you to reach that goal. So if maybe one of your goals is to watch less TV, okay, what is a logical step that I can take to make sure that I'm not watching as much TV throughout the week? Remember, we're using that simplified version of those indicators, so plus and minus. If you say I'm gonna set a five hour limit to my TV watching during the week, Okay, if I met that limit, I'm gonna put a plus sign. If I didn't meet the limit for that week, I'm gonna put a minus sign. And you can really see where your patterns are and if you are developing a healthier habit. 
Also, it's important to keep in mind that there's no set amount of goals that you should be attaining within this 12 week period. You want to make sure that it really makes sense for your lifestyle. So for myself, since this is the first time that I will be attempting a 12 week year, I decided that I would start off with five different goals in five different categories, health, home, finance, business, and personal. So this document is my 12 week year document that I created and all of you will have access to it through the link in the description box below. I like to include the start and the end date to keep track of exactly how long my 12 weeks will last and then I also list out the weeks. So here you can see all of my categories, health, home, finance, business, and personal and then I have a space for goal for each of them. So that is where I am going to type in all of the goals that I have for each of my separate categories. So starting off with health, my goal for my 12 week year is to work out at least four days each week and to lose five pounds during that process. So I'm just going to type it above and then I'm gonna move on to the next category for home. And there I'm going to add my goal for home. For my home for this 12 weeks, my goal is to install outdoor cameras in the back and the patio area. I have had this camera for literally over a year and it's just been sitting in a box, so I definitely wanna make a commitment to getting that done. Next up, finance. Yes, you should always set financial goals even for a shorter period of time. So for my financial goal for this 12 week year, I'm going to be researching a Roth IRA, and if I feel like it's a good fit, I'll be moving my retirement funds from different companies into that so it can continue to build. But of course, I have to do my research first. Next up is my business goal, and this is directly related to my YouTube channel. So I really want to grow my channel to get to a point of being able to monetize it. So my goal between now and December is to gain 500 YouTube subscribers, and then that will get me halfway to my goal. So if you have not subscribed, please do so, so that you can help and support me reaching this goal and support my channel. Lastly, I am going to be moving on to the personal goal category. It is so important to make sure that you set good personal goals because you can't just focus on home and business and everything else in between without remembering to give back to yourself and to focus on yourself in a personal way as well. So for me, my personal goal is to truly just spend more time alone doing things that really are important to me and continue to build me up and bring me joy. So now we're gonna get into details about how to use the simplified tracking system. As you can see, we have pluses and minuses. I'm just gonna go through here and format everything so it's easy for you to access if you wanna download the file. Um, but you just put a plus and a minus for each week. Did I do something to contribute toward my goal? or did I do something to detract from my goal, or did I not work on this goal this week? You can also add notes for little things that you're gonna to need to remember in order to help you be successful. So for example, if I'm going to install the cameras, I need to make sure that I have a ladder that's tall enough to do so. And this is just super, super easy, so you don't have to worry about like finding different values and assigning them to your different tasks. Super simple, plus or minus, and it's really easy to keep up with. Thank you guys so much again for watching this YouTube video. I really hope that you will become a part of our community and we're able to support each other. Let me know if you're gonna try out a 12 week year or if you have some different category ideas for goals that are easier to attain in this simplified version of the 12 week year and what you wanna to work toward. I'll see you all next week. Thanks for tuning in to your weekly dose of self-improvement. Please like, comment, and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Affirmations with Amber.